Cool. Hey, my cap kit from a uh, call like Mike came in. Tip that bug. Um, cool. I've been waiting for a couple weeks. Canada. Yeah, I guess Klondike, you know, Klondike Mike. Um, so if you're not familiar with this guy and you're not in, like the CB radio world, um, he actually sells capacitor kits for CB radios. Um, so I got two radios to recap. Um, so I'm going to do individual videos. But I got the President Grant, original President Grant, first gen, made Japan, President Grant. Then I also have this Road Talker 40 SSB. Um, I mean, really, it depends on the radio, but I mean, I don't think it's really worth recapping non SSB radios. I mean, unless it's actually like a really special radio. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's it, it, it takes a long time, man. It's like literally, it's. Well, besides the cap kits, cost about 25 bucks each. Um, like, it takes hours, yeah. I mean, it's not like an easy task. I mean, you gotta sit there and desolder all the caps and put the new caps in, make sure they're in the right direction. So, it's not an easy task. So, it's not even. It's not even worth putting cheap caps in. So, um, let me open this, this video or the, the bag up here. Alright, so this is pretty nice. So, I like that it's all labeled. Cover 146 GTL. Um, so, actually, if you're not. The, the Road Talker 40 is basically a 146 GTL. Um, and then the, what's it called? Um, the President Grand is an SSB chassis, or it's a me, 858 chassis. So they use the same main board. This is a 176 AD. So they were mainly using base stations and stuff, the bigger radios. That's actually why it's such a nice board. It's such a, it's, it's a highly sought after radio because it's an 858 chassis. Um, so, all right, so hopefully these are a good brand, you know. Um. Yeah, this it takes time, man. I mean, it's worth the cost. I mean, it, it, yeah, you could probably find a little uh, a kit that's probably cheaper on eBay. But, I mean, he's really, you know, I mean, it's he's really made this a lot easier. I mean, it's, it'd be a headache tracking all these capacitors down individually. It'd probably cost you a lot more money because you can't buy singles. Um, or typically can't buy singles. All right, so this video is not going to make me recapping them. In my next video, I'm going to recap the individual radios. That way the video is not too long and I can go into more detail about each radio as I recap it. But the main thing is, you know, if you're going to spend the time to recap these things, um, like I'm, I'm expecting it's probably going to take two or three hours to recap this. Um, it doesn't make sense to buy cheap capacitors, you know what I mean? Like you should be using either like Rubicon, Nichicon, or something like American Made or, or Japanese capacitors. Um... Alright, so I'm going to open these up and see what brand they are. So I'm going to start off with the, with the President Grant first, because I, since I already have it out. So there might be some... Um, I mean, this, this is for a Cobra 139, it's a base station, so they're... Depending if he has a power supply filter caps in there or not, I'm not sure. So, like, the, the a lot of the base stations actually have an AC adapter built into it, um, where this is just 12 volts, so I might have ec extra caps here. Yeah, the cool thing about Claudine Mike is he's actually a radio guy. So, um, like he knows the difference between cheap caps and, and, and uh, good caps. So the black ones are Nitricon. The, uh, the blue ones, yeah, you can see the Nitricon logo right on it. And the blue ones, I'm not sure what these are yet. CM? Okay. I'll go through that. Keep all these together. I know this is for the President Grant. <laughs> all right. Yeah, before I put all these caps in, I always test them too. Brand is this? I've never heard of this brand before. M3TT. Oh, KYB. It's got this big, big. This is probably like a filter cap of some sort. All right. I don't know, like some of these caps. Like I said, I know Nitricon, Rubicon, those companies, but I've never heard of KYB. So I'm gonna look that up and see what kind of cap that is. Mallory. Okay, 
I'm just going through my little screen here. I'm looking at capacitor brands. Matsushita, there's a couple in there. Um, so I figured them all out so far, except for this one brand right here. Yeah, that logo, I'm not sure. Um, I don't see any other name on it, though. So I'm just trying to Google, like, capacitor logos. All right, so I figured out what this brand was. It's uh, called Multicomp Pro. And, yeah, he was not BSing. Um, these are all name brand caps. Either made in Japan or USA. We have Nichicon, Matsushita, Kemet. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's something Chicago. I forget the name of it. I, I looked it up, though. It's American-made. So, yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't playing. He wasn't joking. So, all right, that's cool that he uh, puts these little kits together, man. Yeah, saving a lot of time. So I think it's worth it's definitely worth spending the extra money, um, you know, getting verified known good components. Yeah, because I've seen some ones on eBay, and you don't know what you're getting the ones on eBay. I, he does sell them on eBay, too, so his name is Klondike Mike. But I've seen some other cheaper kits with, like, no-name caps, and like I said, it's not worth, you know, spending that much time recapping a radio if you're going to use, like, cheap caps. So, yeah, before I put all before I put them on my radios, I'm going to run them on ESR meter just to make sure, but... Um, all right, cool. Thanks, Klondike Mike. Awesome.